was not made for humans. God did not plan and want to deliver the lost to the place of everlasting judgment. He is not willing that any should perish. Tie that with John 3.16, that they should not perish but have everlasting life. God does not want you to go to the place of verse 41, the everlasting fire. It was prepared for the devil and his angels. But look at verse 46. But these, the cursed, those who practice iniquity, those who reject, who refuse to believe, who refuse to repent, verse 46, these will go away into everlasting punishment. But the righteous into same word, everlasting life. If you think that your life in heaven is going to be endless, then you better remember this morning that the death of those in hell will also be endless. Jesus' last words, depart from me, you cursed, verse 41, go away now into everlasting punishment. Jesus spoke of the horrors of hell. And Jesus said that the reason that they go to hell in Matthew is because they did not receive the word. What happens when we receive the word? Why did the rich man go to hell? Because he never let the word of God change him. It never pierced his heart. When God's word is received, our lives change. Our self-centeredness dies. Our self-indulgence begins to be disciplined away. Our self-sacrifice begins to be pursued. Compassion, kindness, and caring take root and grow. So what's the good news? Well, Jesus says, I died for sinners. And all who receive me have their sins removed. Past, present, future. Have you received Jesus Christ? Have your sins been removed? If they haven't been, and you get out here on Sheridan and some wacko runs the red light on 61st and you're instantly killed, would you open your eyes and find blackness of darkness? And would you begin to experience eternal vengeance? The great day of the Lord is near. It is near and hasteth greatly, even the voice of the day of the Lord. The mighty man shall cry there bitterly. That day is a day of wrath, a day of trouble and distress, a day of wasteness and desolation, a day of darkness and gloominess a day of clouds and thick darkness, a day of the trumpet and alarm against the fenced cities and against the high towers. And I will bring distress upon men that they shall walk like blind men because they have sinned against the Lord, and their blood shall be poured out as dust and their flesh as the dung. Neither their silver nor their gold shall be able to deliver them in the day of the Lord's wrath. But the whole land shall be devoured by the fire of his jealousy, for he shall make even a speedy riddance of all them that dwell in the land. Amen. To God, Yahuwah, be the glory. Through Jesus Christ, Yahusha HaMashiach, my Lord. Amen.